Hello everyone, it's Caribbean E. Welcome to the channel. Hope everybody just having just a wonderful and a marvelous and a splendid day and that you are in the best of health. Come with another video and uh, it's just a combination just of a few things, uh, perhaps an update, uh, but basically all this will be dealing with the Dominican Republic where I reside and live. So I'll, I will entitle with this video as the good, the bad, and the reality. <laughs> Almost remind me of one of those westerns, good, the bad, and the ugly. No, not this one. This is the good, the bad, and the reality. Okay, the good is, is that life is slowly beginning to come back to life here in the Dominican Republic, especially Santiago, okay? I'm hearing more traffic, I'm seeing more traffic, I'm seeing buses running, good sign. I believe that we are now in phase two, and as the economy begins to open back up, we'll go through those phases, we'll see what's happening, and I believe they, they, the president is kind of watching him and the health minister, how things will slowly begin to process back to perhaps a new norm okay so that's the good that is the good things are coming together the borders will be opening soon <laughs> I think between July 1st and July 3rd okay and uh, the airport will be open soon so uh, that's the good <laughs> that is the good and there's some things that surround it with the good let me break it down for you there's a lot of businesses especially in Putacana the resorts a lot of those resorts are owned by foreign investors are you listening to me foreign investors so they want them <laughs> resorts opened up so it's some back and forth talking and uh, and some lobbying going on because this is the summertime. So we got two things working now. We got either your resort's going to open and they're going to be at half capacity or we're just going to lay back and just do it real slow because we're also heading towards hurricane season. And between me and you, I don't think hurricane season is going to be no big, I don't think it's going to be no big deal, I don't think it's going to be no big thing. People want their jobs back. There's a lot of Dominicans that work in Putacana and those resorts and those foreign investors. They want, they, they want those resorts open like yesterday. Okay? So, we're going to see what happens. These businessmen, we're going to see exactly what happens because... Them, if, them, if them resorts ain't making money, they ain't getting paid, okay? Especially for the investors. So, that's the good. Uh, now, now for the bad. And the bad is changes at the airport. So all of you that usually run to the airport and you say, well, I get myself two hours to get to the airport. Well, now you might want to tack on another hour, make it three, okay, if you want to catch that flight. Because everything is going to be different from the mask to the hand sanitation to them. We got that gun checking your temperature, social distancing, whole nine yards. So put that in your travel plans. Um, I was kind of thinking about traveling towards the end of the year, but I said, you know what, let's let me chalk that up, start from scratch. And me and Tina can just travel next year because we've already got reservations. And, um, and we'll just deal with that when that time comes. But we already got plane, ticket, flight already taken care of. Okay, but things happen, the borders closed. So we'll see what happens next year as we get ready to go to Spain. And I can't wait for that trip. Never been to Spain, can't wait to get there. Can't wait to show you guys. Okay, but that's next year. All of you that are in a rush, you might want to just slow your road just a little bit because the casinos won't be at full capacity. Casinos and the resorts won't be in full capacity 
when you get here. I can promise you that. It's just a slow process until it begins to build up, okay? Because who wants to pay all that money to come out here and you go to a resort and there's only 10, 20 people, okay? They still got to do social distancing. All this stuff still, still going to be in place. They just can't just spit everything out and say, okay, we're we, we, we back to normal. No, it's not going to happen like that. And normally what I'm seeing is that some rules and regulations and some movements and some phases, they're taking some of their keynotes from the U.S. and perhaps other countries. Okay? So, that's the bad. And the really bad is not having knowledge of what's really going on because that can just pose so much confusion when you get to the airport. Educate yourself. I try, we, me and Tina try to give you as much education as we can. We got another video out coming this week that's going to be important because there's going to be some more decisions made with the uh the health minister of this country i'm talking about dominican republic and also the president okay so we asking for something they're weighing the options seeing what's going to happen so we'll have more news for you towards the end of this week today is only uh wednesday so we have some more information so keep your ears open and keep connected to the channel so so that's the bad news. Things will be different at the airports, okay? So, but don't let those obstacles hinder you from coming. Don't let those obstacles hinder you from coming. Because like I said, a lot of these resorts that are in Punta Cana used to be packed with hundreds of people, hundreds of flights, all the time. And whatever they come up with, I know, I don't believe it's gonna include no 14 day quarantine. Not on this end, okay? Maybe on the next end, when you go back to the United States, I don't know, but I know on this end, it can't work for the casinos be, and, and, and the resorts be open up, and you gotta come in here and do a 14, because now you're cutting into your old vacation time, and you're cutting into the foreign investors' business money, okay? So they gonna figure something out, cause it's, gonna, it's like, I, I can just hear it now. I'm sitting out here doing the video, but I can just I can just kind of hear the conversations happening. But we'll see towards the end of the week. I'm not putting out no information that ain't accurate. Homie, don't play that. <laughs> okay. So, and so I did with I did the good. I did the bad. Now let's do the reality. The reality is, COVID-19 ain't done yet. And biggest spike in the whole country is that beautiful city called Santo Domingo. Okay? They got the biggest spike now. So we're going to see how this is going to work out for people coming in and out of the airport and tourists. We're going to see how this is going to play out. And I'll probably have more information for you too towards the end of the week as it relates to Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic. So, but the reality is, COVID-19 will be a main factor when you book your flight, depending on what you're planning to do. I'm not sure that all the eating restaurants will be open, and if they do, they'll be just working at maybe a 30% capacity. Uh, you that want to come out and hang in the clubs, hang out in the clubs, slow your roll. We don't know what this thing gonna look like <laughs> when you get here. The smart ones I talked to, they reached out to me from the channel, they said, you know what, Kirby Nee, I'm just gonna wait <laughs> until I know everything is good so I can actually come out and have a good time It says putting all this money out. And I know some of you from the channel reached out to me already and had a conversation with you. And you got either a girlfriend or fiance or a wife and you can't wait to get back out here to see them. Cool, as long as the airport is open up, as long as you follow the procedures, you'll be good. But you still will be there wearing a mask and you still have social distancing, okay? So keep that in mind too when you come out because I know you can't wait to get out here to see your sweetheart. And you know what? I can't blame you. I can't blame you, okay? So I'll be glad when phase three get here, I'll tell you that. I will be glad when phase three gets here. So, 
I would like to salute everyone that did just make an adventure out to the country here to see what it's all, lot, all, all about uh, with whoever you came with. Whether you come by yourself or you came with another person. I'd like to salute you, okay? Because that's what I call a leap of faith. Because just thinking about that, the average person that retire from the United States never move out of the United States. They retire and stay right there in the U.S. of A. The whole life is on. The whole life is 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 is, is, is on the U.S.A. Okay. Now look at it this way: if you don't work your brains out, overtime, sore back, sore legs. Mental stress, taxes, water bill, gas bill, car payment, apartment note, house note, doctor bills. If you're going to spend your whole life doing that and never get out to your country and see what the worst of the world is about, something wrong with you. Something ain't right. Okay? And I said this before on some, on some of my videos. That's what the system wants you to do is work yourself to death. It flies all over the place. Working your brains out and not cashing in on the time that you've put in on your job. And now you're in retirement and you're still stuck. Because remember what I always tell you. And you've got to get this while you're young, young people that's watching the channel. Because I know I've got a, 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 a better, larger audience of young people watching the channel. You got to handle your business while you're young so you can get out here and go to other places and get on the plane. Some people, they so broke, they can't even afford to get on the plane. They can't even afford to even get by a passport, more or less, okay? So anybody can talk about it, but see, now it's time to be about it. Plan your life. Plan what you're going to do. Look at the economy. See what's happening now. And just be thinking about where you want to be sitting in the next 10 years. Think about where I want to be sitting in the next 20 years because I know where I'm at. And I, if I thought about it, I would did more investing before I got to this point in my life. But I'm good. You know why I'm good? Because I'm in, living in a country that won't put holes in your pockets like the U.S. of A. That's one of the main differences between the USA and the Dominican Republic. And last time I checked, the... Uh, the DOP was 57, 56. That's the last time I checked, which is this morning. 57, 56. Okay? And they keep pushing like that, it's going to be at 58 before you know it. That means your American dollar can go a lot further here than it can ever go in the United States of America. So it's something to think about. And there's a system, I told you, the system is set up that you work yourself to death, you work your brains out, you never cash in on anything, that you always get, constantly be paying out and you never can enjoy your life, you always gotta be paying Uncle Sam. Now it's your time now. Now it's your season to start thinking about what you're gonna do with your life, okay? Cause you see where I'm sitting. I'm in the Caribbean. And some folks, they're even afraid to retire now because they don't know what it's gonna look like. And I can't blame you, if you're, especially if you're gonna stay in the United States, okay? Um, so, we started this journey years ago. I'm glad that we're here. Life is short. You got to take one day at a time. And make sure that when you do decide to travel or go to another country, or even think about living in another country, make sure the person that you're with is all in. If they ain't all in, you wasted all that time, that money for nothing. Cause by the time you get here and they live here for a couple couple months, say, you know what? This ain't this ain't happening. I don't want to live here anymore. You gonna put all that money out, have all your stuff shipped, and get here and change your mind. You got to make sure that you're all in. Okay, make sure that your mind made up. I did videos when I first got here. I did videos of the north. I did videos of the south. I did videos of Putacana. Okay, and now I'm doing one of Santiago, Dominican Republic. And I'm letting you guys know that this is just the beginning, okay? This is my headquarters. 
this will always be my headquarters because I love it here. I got my spot, but you got to find a spot for you. And then when you find a spot, then you got to love the spot you got because you're signing up for wherever you're going to stay at. Okay? So, again, I've just given you the good, the bad, and the reality. Okay? The reality. The reality also, quickly, I'm going to say this before I end the video. As, as, as this phase begins, phase two begins to unfold itself. We have to make an appointment. You have to make appointments to, for, the, for the hair salon. Or get your nails done, your feet done. All this kind of stuff. And you got to wear a mask when you go. And this and that. Which is no big deal. You can handle all that. All that I'm trying to tell you is. It's time for you to start planning your future and your life. Okay? It's not hard unless you make it hard. It is not hard. So, again, good news. Borders are going to be open soon. Airport going to be open soon. Resorts going to be open soon. But, before you book, take your time. And make sure that you're not the only one, you 12 fold no more, that are at these big resorts and you're not having fun. Okay? Because, like I said, things are going to look different. And just like putting up... It's just like getting a, a, getting a, buying a new car. Some cars will run good for years, but then you get some cars that's lemons, okay? And a car that's lemon can always give you some problems. Just might just get rid of it or whatever. So, in the meantime, between the time, country slowly beginning to make some movements. Borders, the airports, whole nine yards. Stay tuned to the channel. And we're going to give you all upcoming information. My wife speaks Spanish. She interprets Spanish. I'm still working on mine. <laughs> I'm a work in progress. <laughs> I'm the construction. So anyway, I hope you guys just have a wonderful day. Enjoy yourself. Remember what I said to you. And until in the meantime, until the next time, we'll see you on the next video. Always remember, life is to be enjoyed and not destroyed. Peace.